And welcome back to my channel. Today we have a brand new Nintendo DIY inspired by Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today we'll be making pots that are inspired by this beautiful game. If you'd rather have a different theme, I did make pots that were inspired by The Legend of Zelda that was featured on the official Nintendo Instagram account, Nintendo Inspired. I'll be linking that down below in the description. Like most of my Nintendo DIYs, all the materials will be listed down below in the description. They will be directly linked to Amazon so you can have it within two days and you can start making your own Animal Crossing New Horizons pots. So of course, this Nintendo DIY will also have free printout sheets down below in the description, either on my Google Drive or my Pinterest. Keep in mind the images used in this video will not be the ones that will be linked down below in my Google Drive or Pinterest. That is because these images are directly from the game and given to me by Nintendo. So I will just explore the internet and find images in high definition resolution that you guys can use. And again, that'll be linked down below in my description. You can find various clay pots at your local craft store, but once again, I can list a few down below in the description. I would try to get them in different sizes and shapes. Try to have a similar theme, but definitely draw out your designs. As you saw at the beginning, I did draw it out digitally and I planned it out, which made it a lot easier because then I could decide what I wanted to do and how I wanted all the pots to look like. Keep in mind, I did change my design a little bit, especially when it comes to the bell pot but I think the direction that I went to at the end of the day was absolutely perfect. So when it came to painting any of the clay pots, here I'm just using regular acrylic paint, and I'm using gold acrylic paint for, of course, the bell pot. If you plan on making these pots and using the exact designs that I made, I highly recommend that with the bell pot, you paint it all gold. And with all the pots, if you plan on painting any of them, I highly recommend you paint the inside, maybe just the top, in case the plant itself isn't big enough and it gives it the illusion that the pot is all gold and not just the outside. I really like to make DIYs and then actually teach you guys not to make the same mistakes I did. So if I had to change anything, I would also not stick the vinyl sticker on to the pot until the entire pot is painted. So that's why it's really important to make sure that you add enough layers when you are painting these pots and that you paint the entire area and then lay the stickers on top. So I had two different types of red string. I had one that was really elegant and then I had one that was a bit more playful. So I went with the one that looked a little bit more playful and kid-like and it was a lot more easier to work with in my opinion. Here I'm just making a simple bow and I'm just trying to tighten the loops and I'm trying to make sure that everything looks symmetrical. So you're probably wondering why I just didn't tie it directly onto the pot. And the reason why is because it's a lot harder to work with. Plus I wanted to make sure that it looked really good and symmetrical. And sometimes you just can't get the look if you tie it directly onto the item. And then another thing too, is that sometimes the knot turns out to be a lot bulkier than I would like. So I recommend if you have the time to actually leave a small gap in the middle and then you can actually cut the bow out and then glue it directly on there. So like I said earlier, when I was making the bell pot, halfway I really did think to myself that the red didn't look as nice if I just painted it on top. I really like the fact that I added a different type of material, so feel free to look around in your home or even at the craft store for materials that you can glue onto your pots to make them look really unique. When it comes to gluing any type of material onto any surface, you wanna make sure that you apply enough pressure and hold that item there until the glue completely dries. Just be careful and try not to glue your fingers together. 
Let me know down below if you plan on making these pots. If you do, don't forget to share some pictures with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you happen to make any Nintendo DIY, definitely follow me on my social media. Again, that will all be listed down below in the description. If you want to see me live and in person and playing video games, I do have a Twitch. You can follow that down below in the description as well. Let me know if there is a different theme that you would love to see as a pot. And I know there's various items in Animal Crossing 2. So if there's another item that you would love to see added to this pot collection, maybe I can make the fruits into pots as well. Just let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. And of course, more importantly, subscribe. That way you can see more Nintendo DIYs and live streams. One of my favorite pots from this collection has to be the one inspired by those gifts that you see floating in the sky, being carried away by a giant red balloon. It is very cute and small. I actually got this white pot off of Amazon, so I will list that item down below in the description. Once again, I'm using super glue and a different type of material. The material I'm using is a very simple, cute red ribbon. I thought it was perfect for this pot. It really signifies the look and it's inspired directly from those gifts that you see above. I really like this pot. I did make other various Animal Crossing New Horizons Nintendo DIYs. So I highly recommend that you guys check that out on my channel. I will be listing those down below in the description as well. One of my all time favorite Animal Crossing New Horizons Nintendo DIYs was actually making life sized gift balloons that I had my boyfriend Jason shoot down with an actual slingshot. It was awesome. It was for Valentine's Day. So again, those Nintendo DIYs will be listed down below in the description. I have a lot more Nintendo DIYs that you guys should definitely check out. You can only see those though if you like this video. Comment down below what other Nintendo DIYs I should make. And of course, subscribe. So here is a look at the Legend of Zelda pots that I made for Nintendo. It is featured on their official Nintendo Instagram account, Nintendo Inspired. I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Not only are you updated on the latest games coming from the Nintendo factory, but you are also inspired by just the various Nintendo DIYs that you can use to decorate your home. And there's also a whole fashion line. So again, I will link the Nintendo inspired Instagram account down below in the description for you. And of course, if you do plan on making the Link inspired pots, as long as you don't have a friend named Link, definitely don't bring him around. But of course, there are free printout sheets for those pots as well. Just check out the main video on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much guys for the continued support. I would not be able to do what I do uh, if it weren't for you guys. So thank you so much. And don't forget to check out all my social media links down below in the description, including my Twitch channel in case you wanted to talk to me live. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and more importantly, subscribe.